Oh man, does it feel weird doing this? I haven't made a video in uh, about a year. Um, so this is a quick little update vlog. I mean, there might be a, a su suppose there's a meet tonight, so I might bring you guys along, just uh, mess around. Um, but right now, we're actually, uh, I don't know if you guys seen my bumper before, but it was bad, and now we're just adding a little bit. touch up paint. So, whoa. so right now, you can see, it looks a little black. It's all touch of paint though, it's a whole, you see, you can see all that. That's all, it used to be gray. But, before I continue showing you that. A lot of things have changed, like, a lot. The whole car is a whole different car. That's one. We got a new garage. We got a whole bunch of different cars. A lot has changed in this like year that I haven't recorded. We're back at the old garage. Well, yeah, well, we had the garage before, then we went to another one, now we're back at it. But, a lot has changed. New cars has come in. So many things have changed, let me show you. Let me begin with my car. Off the rip, you already see new wheels uh so these are four lug and Tiger type r reps uh this tire size is 205 45 16s mainly everything on the outside is the same uh, i had a purple front end but now i just got a black one just for now from this camera All right, so the front end has uh, been black. Uh, well, the front end used to be purple. Now it's black. Um, somebody backed up into me while I was parked, so you know. That uh, front bumper was always bad. At work, right here, somebody backed up into it while I was parked again. And dented that whole thing, and it was worse. I pulled it out as much as I can. I haven't really got from underneath, but I'm just got a whole new front, so I don't really matter. Let's show you what really changed a lot about this car. So this is what changed the most about this car. Uh, off rip, as you can tell, it's a B-Series Turbo. Um, it has a lot of little goodies on it. But the main thing about this car that we did, which I wish I'd... I should have recorded, but I don't know what, why I didn't. But this is all fresh paint, wire tuck, batteries relocated, fuse box relocated, everything's relocated. Um, just fresh paint. We did this. No, we ain't take it to the shop. It was me, my uncle, my cousin, and my other uncle that all put our hands on this and did it ourselves. Uh, it took about a month to do, it was uh, at work, so after work I used to run up to the garage, sand it down, prep it, do all that little stuff, um, but yeah, let's talk about the motor. This is a B16A uh, block, I had, it was a stock block, but then I, you know, I was impatient. And instead of waiting to tune the car and waiting for a whole catch can setup, I ended up uh, cracking all the pistons. Um, this video is actually after the two next videos that you guys are going to see. So I'm letting you guys know ahead of time so you know what's upcoming. But, so I ended up going with uh, nip on uh, pistons, low compression pistons for boost, just to, you know, just to be safe, on, uh, just to be on the safe side. Um, it's an eBay Turbo, nothing special. 50 trim, T3, T4, uh, Skunk 2 Pro Series intake manifold, AEM fuel rail, uh, S90 throttle body, um, RC 750cc's injectors. It's gonna be a pretty fast car when it's all done and tuned. Right now, all I'm really waiting for is a catch can setup. And then, tune. That's really it. The car's been a long way. Right, Manny? Yes, sir. 
Let's talk about this guy's car now. Yeah, yeah. He's dead right here. <laughs> he's, he's dead. So, at first he had a little hoopty. It was a little four a door. A little hoopty? Yeah, it, was, it was a big hoopty. It was a four door. Uh, champion, the. It was a champagne color. And that car was a real hoopty. But now he got this little nice coupe. So, you know, we both got coupes. One black, one white. These are the rims that used to be on the car before. Um, we just cleaned them up. Now the car, he actually put them on yesterday. Now it looks good with these rims, honestly. All he had to do is uh, raise the back up a little bit. That's really it. The car is mainly all stock. We got an SI cluster. Nothing Soon special. Soon install. Soon what? Soon oh. install. Soon, Quick release. we're gonna make a video about this actually. We're gonna change the whole steering column because this whole steering column is messed up. So we're gonna remove that steering column. And put the steering column from, I think it's the EG that we got, steering column. For this car, I think it's I think it's the EG, not the EK. But we, um, we're gonna put that one on and put the quick release on here. It's a clean little coupe, nothing special about it. Uh, so yeah, so like I was saying, this is a B16 block, it has a B18 C5 Type R head, so all the head internals are all Type R. So VTEC should crack pretty nice on this car. I haven't cracked it yet, I'm dying to, but I'm going to wait this time and be patient. Alright, so on the interior, um, as you can see, I have a uh, quick release, the Momo and Monte Cartel. No, Monte Carlo steering wheel. I have the S2000 cluster, AEM um, AFR gauge, boost gauge, S2000 seats, uh, driver and passenger side, sparkle harnesses. That's really yeah on the interior. Nothing crazy. Um, one of my favorite things is that cluster right there. That's like we're gonna go to the bank real quick. So everything on this cluster works except for the miles per hour and the temperature. But I have the Honda S300, so the V3, so I could read the temperature. And the miles per hour I don't really need. The only reason why the miles per hour doesn't work is because I need a converter box. That's it? That's it? That's it? 